one moths baby two away from bb fan jo young yeah Give me the plant. Water. Wayna go chimp, Wayna go off, Holly Tones bonus BB. Plants. I love to see them. Excited to see this game smile. Seeds? Seeds? This game got seeds? I hope so. No, no one tell the birds, though. No one tell the birds, though.
excited to see a funny little garden game we are cool.
hello, and, of course, hello. I hope you're all doing well today. I uh, hope your day's been kind to you. It is uh, Saturday. Uh, we are January 8th, 2022. Um, I'll be completely honest. Uh, I picked a game tonight that would be, like, chill and relaxing because I figured I would probably be exhausted today after Peppa. <laughs> and it turns out, uh, yes, I fucking am. So <laughs> I hope you're ready for uh, basically the polar opposite of yesterday's stream, by which I mean uh, a short couple hours of a nice, really laid back puzzle game uh, instead of, you know, seven hours of purgatory. <laughs> I did have a lot of fun yesterday, though. I hope uh, all y'all did, too, if you got to tune in to uh, yesterday's stream for Pig. Uh, that was a good time, even if the game did kind of uh, crumble to dust in my hands uh, and render itself unbeatable. Which is why I have to learn how to speedrun it out of spite. <laughs> uh, speaking of speedruns, tomorrow is uh, GDQ, Games Done Quick. Uh, I will be hosting that on my channel throughout uh, the whole week that it's live. If you want a more, you know, relaxed uh, place to come and chat about speedruns going on. Sounds like a fun time to me. Um, but, you know, before that, tonight, we uh, are going to be playing a little game called Cloud Gardens. That's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a puzzle sandboxy type of game uh, about nature reclaiming a bunch of ruined uh, industrial sort of vignettes. And uh, it's, it's, it was in early access for a while, and I think about a year ago um, I watched my, my friend Sign shouts out, shouts out to Sign. I think I, I saw her here in chat earlier. Uh, she streamed it about like a, like a year or so ago, uh, and it looked really cool. So I wanted to... Uh, Give it a look. Yeah, there we go. There's sign. Uh, go, go give them a follow. Very, very fun streams and uh, very cool art. Go give it a look. Uh, so yeah, I was like, hmm, I'll keep an eye on this and I'll, I'll give it a look once it's out of early access. And uh, well, it's out of early access and I've had it for a while. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to actually playing it. So I'm uh, excited to, you know, actually play it today. <laughs> It'll be a, it'll be a nice, a nice relaxing way to spend a couple of hours with you, and I hope you're looking forward to it. If you're new to the streams, welcome. Thanks for stopping on by. Uh, make sure you review the rules. Uh, you know, just general stuff. Uh, streams are rated 16 plus. Uh, be good to your fellow chatters. Uh, don't be weird. Uh, stuff like that. Holly. Thank you, Seal212 the 16 months of support. I don't know why I stumbled over my words that much. <laughs> I appreciate that. I had a burger for dinner and it was a free burger. I spent nothing on it because uh, I had a coupon that was like, oh, you get a free burger. And so I was like, great. I love having food that I don't have to pay for. Uh, and so I got uh, a burger and it was good, but uh, my brain is fully on burger effects right now. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, so apologies if, I almost said apologize, as if you had to apologize to me, uh, but apologies if, uh, I don't know, I'm not as eloquent as I normally am. I, uh, I have just enjoyed burger. I, I am a little bit under the influence of a good burger, as it is. <laughs> I can't believe... The stream has barely even started and I've already had my first are you fucking sorry type scenario. <laughs> but hey, if you like what we do here uh, and you're looking for ways uh, to support that, you know, you've got options. You can always subscribe to the channel. It's a reoccurring monthly fee that gets you some fun little emotes you can use here and all across Twitch and also on Discord. If you link your Twitch and Discord accounts and join my server, I was watching... Um, Another channel today, uh, it was a speedrunner, what, what was her name? Punchy Succinct or something like that. Uh, and they were doing uh, practice uh, for the Chicory speedrun because they're going to be running that uh, in Games Done Quick. And they had uh, 
the the you know they had the the, the lead the lead developer uh on on stream with them which was neat but that's not the point the point is uh I was just like lurking in there and like watching the stream and it was a fun time and then I saw someone using my emotes in there and I was just like wait wait that's my emotes huh. <laughs> And so if you want the chance to scare me live on Twitch, uh, you can subscribe to my channel and use my emotes in other chat rooms. <laughs> other ways you can support the stream. Uh, you know, you can give out gift subs to the community. Other folks get to enjoy the sub benefits. Uh, you can give bits. That's some extra money that gets added to my monthly Twitch payout. Uh, and you can tip directly through Streamlabs and PayPal. That's uh, money what goes to my wallet right away, and I generally get a, a better cut of the deal. Uh, percentage wise of what you know what goes to me what goes to the service provider stuff like that uh, any and all financial support is very greatly appreciated uh, never mandatory mind you you know you, you never have to uh, give me your money to watch the streams or be a part of the community so don't feel obligated to don't feel pressured no, nothing like that you got to make sure you're taking care of yourself first and foremost uh, but you know if if you've got the means uh, you like the shows I put on, you enjoy the other uh, creative endeavors that I engage in, uh, and you want to pay it forward that sort of way, you know, very, very much appreciated. Uh, this is my main source of income at the moment, uh, because of the very generous support of viewers like you, uh, I've been able to do this, you know, as often as I do, as well as other uh, similar, uh, you know, creative endeavors, like helping folks with, like, videos and recordings and, and podcasts and the like, so, uh, Thank you all very much for that. Uh, thanks for helping me keep the lights on. Uh, other ways you can support the stream that don't cost you a goddamn dime uh, or any amount of money. Thank you, Scrumptious, <laughs> for the 11 month resub. I appreciate that. This game seems so exciting. I am. I don't know if exciting is quite the word I would use for it, but I am very much excited for it all the same. <laughs> other ways you can support the stream you can share tweets uh, about the, the, the stream. Oh, hey, yeah, someone right now is using, uh, punchy emotes. That's wild. <laughs> Small fucking world. Thank you, Noda999, for those gift subs. I appreciate that. You know, you can always share, uh, tweets about the stream. You can always, uh, take a clip of any moment you enjoyed and share that around. You can always tell a friend. Uh, word of mouth and things along those lines are always really helpful, uh, as far as getting folks aware of the streams. Thanks for doing what you do. Oh, that's very kind of you to say. Thank you, Ugg Tokyo. I appreciate that. And thank you for the tip. Uh, you know, stuff like that uh, is always real helpful. Uh, and, you know, if you like what we're doing here uh, and you want to stop on by, uh, watch the stream, that sort of stuff, that counts as support as well. So thank you very much for taking time out of your busy day just to spend it here with us. Uh, I think I said all the other preamble stuff I wanted to say before we get started. So I think we'll just get started. I think we just get started now. Uh, let me go over to the games. Why is that still on screen? Get, get that shit out of here. Get that shit out of here. None of that. No more. Let's play Cloud Gardens. Good news to the person who was asking earlier. There are seeds in this game. And we got it. Ooh, I like the effect on this little card where it's got the different, like, layers in the background inside and then the, like, uh, the overgrowth on the outer layer of it. Very pretty. So we've got our seed. Let's plant it here. Place objects near plants to grow them. Ah, I think I broke it by accident. Uh, let's be there. Place 
basic mirror. And so you get these little vignettes of like, um, uh, ruined bits of some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of industrial era in some capacity. Uh, and it's about planting seeds to help nature reclaim it. Also, there's birds sometimes, I guess. Seed. What you hear? <laughs> Ooh, we get a whole bunch of cans we can decorate around with. I thought I could maybe make a, a little stack of them. There we go. Even old sewer grate needs a drink too. Birds are happy up there. That's good enough for me. Let's put one in here. There we go. Although, does it really affect anything when I put it in there? It's gone. That can's for the earth. How's the volume, by the way? Are the volume levels good? They're not like overpowering my voice or nothing, are they? I. This is the kind of game where I really do want to hear it, but also, you know, if need be, I can adjust uh, the levels. <sighs> Seems good so far? Okay, cool. at a funny angle. What is this? Oh, it's like a sign. And then it'll grow up. Ah. Cute, cute, cute. Now, moment of truth. Can I put one? Yes! No! Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Actually, that works. My bottle. You can put things wherever you want. Uh, at the moment, yeah. Later on, there might be like more conditions, like you gotta try and do stuff like this or that. Uh, arrange things in certain spots in certain ways so that it like triggers plant growth in certain areas. That sort of stuff, I imagine. But uh, right now, you know, it's just the start of the game. We can do anything. Even that. Really do want to see if I can just balance one up here, though. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, fuck. Come on, come on. I'm so close, I can feel it. Maybe this isn't going to work. <laughs> maybe as much as I want this to work, it isn't going to work, and maybe that's okay. It can go down here. <laughs> mm 
nice little assortment of uh, drinks and accoutrement for our uh, our bird friends here. Yeah, this game isn't super, super pricey. So, like, if you're looking at this and you think, wow, this looks really striking, this looks really cool, uh, you should pick it up yourself. It's on Steam. <laughs> and it don't cost you very much at all. Let's see. What if I put this back here? Let me try this. Harvest. Ah, and then that way we can get more seeds to plant. I see. Interesting. Now we have enough for another. Let's put it right here so the arrow is pointing at it. <laughs> that bird is totally peeking through. <laughs> hey, little buddy. What you doing there? <gasps> oh, all right. I'll see you later. Could someone explain what the game is about to you, please? Uh, so we have these little vignettes that are like uh, little ruined areas, and we get to plant seeds in them and help help plants grow. That's about all there is to it. seed already. Can I put him down here? I cannot. Okay. So let's chuck one over here, Bats. Yeah, it's, it's a very freeform sort of puzzle game. So you can really do whatever you want with it, at least right now. Maybe things will get a little harder later. Maybe they won't. We'll see. Hi, Holly. Sorry I missed so many streams. You don't gotta apologize for that. I never expect anyone to make it to all my streams except for me, because I'm the one, you know, streaming them. Don't apologize for that. You've got your own life outside of watching streams on Twitch. You don't gotta apologize for that. Let's plant one on the side. You've unlocked these objects for use in creative mode. Nice. I guess there's a little mode you can do that's just you can fool about with whatever you like. That's cool. Crates contain new seeds. Planters give maximum growth. What does it mean by planters? Is it like this sort of area? Oh. Oh, that is growing fast, isn't it? Let's put 
something on the back here, too. Pretty. Kudzu is a very scary type of plant. Uh, that's the type that grows super well just about anywhere and also chokes out like any other plant life around it. This car's got a new hat now. Let's see. Some new spare tires for our car. We will be the talk of the town with this. Hi, nice evening. Thank you, Yoshi Shishu, for that two month reset. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we got those fancy vanilla tires. Those ones have extra flavor. Get one over here. Ooh, I busted up the plants a little bit. Gotta be mindful of that. Let's get uh, this over here. There we go. Another on the hood. one more. A little bit more. Or grow into more seeds for us. Why don't we make a little tire pile over here? Plant you here. I'll just let you keep it going there for a bit. Oh. Interesting. There's still life in this car. After a fashion, at least. That's okay, that'll grow back. Let's plant some more stuff here to help this other one grow. Make sure we're picking these up. Wonder what the lore of this game is? I don't think there is any. But I think the point is that whatever was in this place, it is long past the point of knowing what it was. It's for the plants and the birds now.
Thank you, Bug Scrub, for that brand new sub. Appreciate that. I do like the cursor being kind of like a a little garden glove. Very cute touch. Time for another seed. Let's do another of this one. Let's throw it uh, in the back here. good measure. Let's go over here and put you there. And a nice arrow pointing at it so that you look at it. Ah. Well, the arrow's a little bit covered by now, but uh, I think the plants like it and that's what matters. Seed. What have we got? Interesting. Uh, the text down here looks like it says Monstera or Aeonstera. I don't know enough about plant names assuming that is based on an actual plant. I don't know what this is, but hi, this is more relaxing than yesterday's peach. Oh, no, this stream is like the exact opposite of yesterday's, basically. <laughs> Thank you for the four month resub. Hope you're recovering well after peach. This is also a planter. Ah. So it looks like the indication of planter is a uh, light glowing on something. Oh, it's got a pretty big blossom. Very nice. Yeah, I've definitely seen ferns like that before. I just didn't know that was the the, the sorts of you know name for it. Chainsaw. Mm -hmm.
It's okay. This is this is fun for them. This is like a massage for them. If they were in any danger, they would fly away from it, but they like it, clearly. Let's plant you hereabouts. And let's plant you over here. And you can be our... Oh wait, no, never mind. Here's a car. <laughs> I was gonna say, you can be our brand new car, but then we got an actual car. <laughs> Put a tire here. Uh, how did I spare tire in the back? We got, we got a little orange warning cone up there so people know to be careful. There we go. All bright and glowing now. Oh, the vacuum collects the fruits. Okay. I see, I see. And how about we get uh, you planted on top of this car? Are we gonna undo that? No, we cannot. Okay. This is. We are technically done here, but... Wanted to get that on the side of the car. Birds love it when you do that kind of thing. On the side of the car. Uh, and then, you know, a little bit of garbage up there. Sort of carelessly thrown around. And, uh, a can here, I reckon. I can go on to the next one, but I'm having fun just doing this. What if you grow out of the can? doing more of this one. That's cute. What if... What if you grow out of uh, this shopping cart? Uh, that is a car. I thought that was a small thing that I could put <laughs> in the shopping cart. No. That is a whole ass fucking car. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So let's put you over here. What is this? A little sewer grate, I think? Yes. Uh, that's where the sewer goes. 
our tire on the side. Let's, uh, let's have a tire propped up over here, too, why don't we? Ah! Chopping carts! I always like making sure that the shopping carts are back in their, their little home, uh, whenever I go out a shopping. Maybe these ones are allowed to roam free. Maybe these ones are, uh, you know, they've, they've, they've grown wild. It's okay for them to be out here now. This is, this is their home. Maybe a shopping cart is allowed to ride on top of a, of a car. Maybe that's fun for them. Maybe that's enrichment. Maybe that's allowed. Who am I to stop them? I'll put one of you here. I'll put one of you here. You know, our shopping carts have a lot of beautiful foliage. <laughs> this is their garbage can that they graze out of. They're, they're well fed here. The parking meter hasn't been paid off in a little while, but... Uh, I think maybe that's okay. I don't think anyone's gonna be too mad about that. Not today. shopping carts have guys inside of them. And they like it that way. Now, this is a dire hydrant. It's seen better days, but you know. I suppose all of us have. Thank you EverX42 for the tip. I very much appreciate that. Thank you for your support. phone booth here facing the wrong way, so I'm gonna I'll flip that back around ways. There we go. Okay, so one of these shopping carts needs to make a call. Let's see how their friends are doing. Planned, it looks like. Oh no, this isn't new. We've seen this before. <laughs> we gotta make sure no one walks in on here while this poor thing is still growing. Uh, so it's important we put these orange safety cones up. Uh, this one means no video games. Uh, more than anything, I reckon. So don't don't bring your don't bring your DS here. Don't bring your Switch here. Don't bring your Tiger Electronics here. Our fern needs some space, and that's okay. Do we have enough for any of these? Let's see. Not yet, but perhaps soon. So I want to grow something on one of these sides here, if possible. Yeah, no, no, no Game & Watches. None of that. Gotta be mindful. Oh, 
I'll just plant another another fern, I reckon. If we can get that grown off the side here. We can. Okay, can we? No, okay. So fern does have to be on the ground, it looks like. Which is interesting. Let's have you grow out of this tire. We can make our tire pile uh, over here. Terribly large pile, but that's okay. <laughs> Perfectly balanced. All right, now we can grow ourselves one of these right on top there. Creeping vine creeping on over. Whoops. That's okay, it just goes back into my my inventory. Thank you. Ah, there's our fruits. I was wondering whereabouts they were gonna be sprouting. If I click on you, I'll just use the vacuum. Easier that way. Let's get uh, you in here. Let's get you into the mix, why don't we? Let's let you have some fun in here. There we go. Got another seed ready. Let's go with this one. We'll plant it over here. Ah, that didn't quite go where I wanted it to, but that's okay. Can I put this on top here? Ha! I can, but it just tumbles down. I suppose that makes sense, you know, in retrospect, but... <laughs> I don't know, I was just kind of struck by the novelty of it, like, oh man. <laughs> that thing just tumbled down, down. Get our vacuum out. Get all of our fruits. Hello, healing mind. It's, uh, it's been a nice little time so far. I'm really charmed by this game. Especially after yesterday, a stream like this feels like a breath of fresh air. Ah, and then we've got our lights all illuminated here. Beautiful. This one's just freely growing all the way over the side. Love to see that. Growing all the way up here as well. How about we get another one of these ferns over here? Just over here. Get about this. We'll put it right over here. Oh, I guess I already placed that one. That's the one I recalled, isn't it? Make our tire pile a little more inviting. Maybe some plants will want to grow there. Find a place as any for a sign. Oh, I love the way they're just creeping up uh, the, the light post here. That's really cool. And there we go. 
our, our beautiful little box garden. Why is everyone bringing up Pig again? I mean, you could... <laughs> if you want to try and understand, the most I could really tell you is you should probably watch yesterday's stream. <laughs> I don't think I could really explain that in, in words. You mean you watched all of it? Oh. In that case, I don't know what else to tell you. warning sign is a little too late, given what's happened, but, uh... I'm sure someone will appreciate the... the irony of it. Maybe that's not even irony. Uh, warning sign for, for the work we're doing here. Don't cone. Do not cone. No matter what happens, make sure you avoid cutting. Get our fruits. Let's plant one of you. Let's plant you all the way up here so you can slowly snake your way back down. Ah! Briefcases. Wherever they were meant to go before, uh, here's where they're meant to be now. Can't quite snake up to there yet, so let's focus on what we got around right here first. easier for us to uh, to encourage the growth of a little backpack in case it uh, ever wants to go out traveling somewhere really far I can take that with it Maybe a bird up here wants a backpack too these seem like the type of birds to enjoy a backpack Mango the pear for that 17 month reset. I appreciate that. And look, this is a, a brave growing little fern here. It needs its lunchbox. So I can take that to a uh, flower school. Thank you, Leakophobia those gift subs. Awful generous of you. Very much appreciated. 
Nice little tire down here. Hello, Holly. This game is pretty. Oh, this game is super, super pretty. I love the way this like looks and sounds. And thank you, the Orange Witch, for that 18 month reset. I appreciate that. Let's put another fern over here, why don't we? This little spot's looking a little empty. Do a bit of growing here. Stay away while it's growing. This thing is like already snaking all the way down here. That's so cool. Oh no! Oh, that's a shame. I was really hoping it would stay balanced. There we go. That's better. You know, get all these fruits. Nice. And let's plant. Let's plant one of you. Just over here. Out of this briefcase. You can snake your way on over wherever you like. We can put a warning on this bus. I suppose it looked like more of a camper than a bus. Uh, I suppose it doesn't really matter what it was anymore as much as was it is what it is now. And it's a beautiful little garden. Nice. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have planted this up way too high, but, uh... It was a fun idea. <laughs> What have we got here? Let's plant you just over here. Aha! We've got chairs. Uh, let's move this chair so it's not so precariously perched on that bottle. I suppose. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh. So there's gnomes in this game. Oh. <laughs> the gnomes get a beatbox. <laughs> Brewskis out here. Yeah. Cracking open a cold one with the boys. We 
we've been granted entrance to the boy's home. I see. Interesting. Ah, it was like a trailer. I see. Clearly, uh, the trailer the gnomes have been using to get across the country. Uh, and they stopped here for a bit of a rest, to enjoy a view and enjoy a fern. That's wonderful. And you might be wondering, well, uh, how did they get here with, you know, just a camper and not, like, uh, you know, any sort of actual vehicle with which to, to cause the camper to move around? Uh, my answer to that is you know nothing about gnomes. You don't know fucking anything about gnomes. Uh, and I beg you to reconsider. Let's put a traffic cone over here. side of the van. Or the camper, what have you. How about one on top of here so that even the camper has a hat? There we go. Love to see that. We've got our big billboard over here. Let's get that over here. Now we can get out our vacuum. Start sucking. Can just imagine this being an after apocalypse with everything destroyed and run down from it being left behind for so long. Yeah, that very much seems to be the, the vibe they're going for here. Uh -huh. You know, they leave it open because, you know, what happened before doesn't really matter so much as what happens now. And what happens now is we garden. What you hear? There we go. Now I got two of them growing. Ah, my fern. It's born fruit again. Speaking of which, I think it's time for us to plant another down here. Thank you, yet another streamer person, for that host. Enjoy your power, dog. Got one up here. Warning on the front there. Just to be sure. Uh, hey, there you go! This is the gnome's car! Never doubt me again. Um, I guess they have another car. In case something happens to Gnome Mobile, the first one, uh, they've got a spare here. Well, now we're building big. Now we got big parts to build with. And build around with. So, let's get you just over here. And then we can start uh, stacking up a little bit of. Whoops! There we go. 
Guess that was a little bit too close there. Uh, get you. Thank you, killer lesbian. For the 14 months. 14 months. Will we? Thanks for being so. Will we? <laughs> Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. Put one over here. How about we put one over here in this weird sort of spiny bit? There we go. Make that look a little a bit less oppressive for anything that wants to roost here. Get some, uh... How about up here some... Some, some of this for our, for our gnomes. Just so they can, you know, have access to their... Their, their books and their cigarettes and whatnot. Those, those two things that gnomes need to survive. Now I can put a tire over here. Ah, I was kind of hoping a little bit that uh, the tire would like swoop, swoop on into like, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. Let's see if I can do that again. Not quite. But that's okay. I'm playing horseshoes out here <laughs> with these tires. Scrub for those gift subs. It's awful generous of you. I really appreciate that. Okay, now let's plant a couple more seeds. Let's get, um, actually, no, I want one of these up over here about. And then I would like. That's okay, I'll plant another one of these somewhere. How about the uh, side of this car? And then we'll do some of these. Put one just over here so I can give some more stuff to the gnomes and grow that alongside of it. Uh, a little bit over here as well. And then something on one of these cars. How about on top? You got a nice new hat. Yippee! this here. There we go. Just what I wanted. So now we get a sign on the side of here. That'll grow a bunch of other stuff around thereabouts. I'll give you cone hat. Give you cone hat. Uh, so they can look just like their gnomes. What's the goal of this game? To grow plants. Uh, you gotta keep growing plants by placing seeds. Uh, after you place seeds, you can place these little objects around. If you place them near your plants, then they'll grow more. Uh, if they grow enough, they'll produce fruits, and you can use the fruits to plant more plants. Uh, you just gotta keep doing this until the little meter on the side here uh, fills up to 100. And then, you know, you can keep going or you can move on to the next level. Let's put this here. On the floor. Get some, get some greenery over here again. Mm -hmm. Side of a car seems like a funny place for signs. So that's what they're going to do. Man, this gnome mobile is just kitted the fuck out. They got the decals, the reinforcement, and everything. But I played Islanders. Um, oh, hang on, let me 
deselect that while I'm tabbed out. Uh, Islanders game. Uh, here it is on Steam. I have not played this, but I do own it, uh, so I could play it. It does look neat. I picked it up, I think, during the most recent Steam sale, because I saw it and I was like, yeah, that sounds neat. I had to look it up to make sure I had the title right. Oh god, it's giving us more cars. <laughs> Where am I supposed to place more cars? <laughs> There's no room up here for the gnomes to have a car. I like the way it's like sort of sweeping around here to, to grab onto the, the little bits of rebar. Oh, that's really nice. That's, that's, that's really charming. Got a tire up here. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Just two gnomes. Having a good old Saturday. <laughs> Interesting how it didn't unlock gnome for us. Oh wait, no, I think a previous one might have done that already. Game makes you want to craft small vignettes IRL and turn them into a garden. Yeah, this game is very good at scratching that sort of itch. That's the sort of thing where, like, I, I know for a fact that's not, like, uh... A skill set I really have right now. Uh, so playing a game like this is very nice for that sort of urge. Ooh! This is very pretty. Hello. This is also a planter. Let's grow you. Oh, that's so pretty! Oh, look at that! Oh, I love this. Oh! excited every time we get a new plant in this. Music in this game is really nice. Really enjoying it a lot. You. You. <laughs> Make a you up here as well. Now it's time to put some things down here. Going this way, right side of the road. 
Well, there's nothing necessarily to say this is, you know, in a place where people were driving on that side of the road. I'm just going with that. We'll have you fall off a little bit near the edge here. The person who did the music for this game is the same one who did the music for the Kingdom games. A lot of the people who worked on this game worked on the Kingdom games, actually. A lot of overlap in that regard. Uh, which I only learned uh, today. Oh, that uprooted that one a little bit. So let's plant that again. Right here. There we go. Much, much better for you, little guy. Sorry about that. Let's get you a little bit of extra love and care. Since I did kind of uproot you a little bit. Let's maybe put a cone here because I think it would be funny sloped near the absolute edge like that. <laughs> things over on this side now. Ooh. More shit. I see, I see. Uh, one of these right here. Uh, it's good that it's fallen down, I think, actually. Oh, poor plants. It's okay. They're growing back again. side of the road. How about... Whoop. Well, now we got a cam check. We to clean up, get ourselves some more seeds. I should plant some more. I got plenty. Let's, uh... Get another fern up in here. How about here? Another. Over here. Switch over to this one. I want you on top of this. I want some more of these. I'm liking these ones. weird seats just kind of strewn on the side of the road. Get you here. You're probably gonna fall. You're definitely falling. Goodbye! been much good at telling the difference between crows and ravens myself. Um, I've never really needed to like tell the difference between them because I think they're both very cute. Uh, and so I he see or hear about either of them and are like, oh, cute little blackbird. So... <laughs> In my brain, they are all just a nice bird. Not ideal if you're trying to identify them in any sort of meaningful way, but uh, 
if you're just trying to take it from the, from the perspective of, oh, I want to see a nice bird, uh, I suppose you can't really go wrong there. I like putting these bottles up here. I like the idea that some folks were, uh, maybe camped out on top of there for a while. Trying to get a, get a look out around here. thrown around on the ground as they, as they fell over. There we go. Left for a bit, now we got new plants? Yeah! You do a couple levels and it gives you, you know, some new plants and some new decorations to play with. I really like that. Uh, I want another hanging one. Let's get you. this one upright if we can help it. Oh, that's the one that like fell off. Never mind. So that's not gonna give us any progress or nothing. That's okay. So many good birds out there. God, are there ever. Birds is good animals. I think about birds and I just smile serenely. someday. A couple days ago you saw ten turkeys walking up your driveway. My god. <laughs> turkeys really can just do anything they want, can't they? Ah, the underpass. I see, I see. We've got these little grates here. You planted in there, get you spread. Nice. Thank you, Space Nugget, for that sub. Appreciate that. Let's, see, let's get another one of these. Out on here, because these grow real fast on these little uh, planter spots. You love to see it. together. We'll creep on out. Over to the upper ways. Plant you back there. I like planting them more or less uh, where you find the original seeds. Nice. And another one of these. 
Just for a bit of non-uniformity. Just a touch. Yeah. Let's focus on these guys, what we've got here down here already. Thank you, Bumbo Glungus, for that raid. Hope you had yourself a wonderful stream today. You've made it just in time for gardening. Sleepy Chew, for giving that gifts about to Flintle 99. Very generous of you. Much appreciated. Thank you for that additional gifts. I appreciate that. Why don't we get these little seats uh, by the train tracks in case folks wanted to watch? That sounds nice. Right by the fern here. Let's get. Uh, some more of these out here. A little field going. I say that sounds nice. I say that sounds just fine. this other side of the tracks, why don't we? You down. You down. You down. Let's get a firm or two up as well. And then uh, some more of these. On top of these cars. Curious about this game, it seems nice. It is uh, a wonderful little time so far. I am a very charming, serene sort of game. Which is uh, very much what I was in the mood for, so I am very, very happy with this. We are almost done technically with this scene, but I do want to keep going a little longer. Piling on a couple of things. Some cinder blocks here to weigh the car down so it doesn't blow away. looking start and you know things will spread around here near the bottom <laughs> what 
we have a world map now? Huh. Interesting. We can go from the highways to the junkyard? We can go to the railroads. Don't remember a world map when you played. I think this was one of the things they specifically added when they like left early access. I think this was like the big thing they did in the, the 1.0 update. I've only ever played this now, so. Let's check this out. dusty in here, it looks like. Let's get you out of here so you can spread your way on up. When Dane's shadow with sword thunder power sleep, gardeners of the cloud let scrub a spade and get real loud. <laughs> Thank you, Rosa Rosso, for the 16-month resub uh, and the words of power to help guide us on our way tonight. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much. Well, time for cars. for the mechanic. Huh. He's fallen over a little bit, so let's, uh, let's get them back up on their feet. Huh. Come on now. Okay, well maybe they're sleeping on the job. I can't really fault him for that. Let's see, what else can we plant? How about... Oh, this is a real fun idea. they go on breaks. In between their shifts. In between their shifts here at, at the at the scrap heap car repair. <laughs> Meanwhile, their other co-workers just having a nap up here. <laughs> None of them are really working and that's okay. having fun and that's what matters. Let's get uh, one of these up here. Oh, never mind. I already took the seed for this by accident. Uh, you can go there. And then we'll get uh, uh, some auto repair bits. You know, we got chairs. Uh, but they've also, you know, snuck a chair back here for relaxing. Very important co-worker, Mr. Bear. It's, it's absolutely crucial uh, that Mr. Bear's got his own seat to sit on. Yeah, these 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 garden gnomes are like perfectly aerodynamic. You could throw these uh, like like the football, and they would go just flying. You love to see that in a gnome, you do. It's one of their better qualities. is a type of fern, right? It certainly looks like one at the very least, but you know, sometimes plants can look similar but not actually be the same. <sighs> Would 
Related to lilies. Huh. Neat. <sighs> Not much room for this one to grow here, it looks like. still having fun back here? <laughs> Maybe burning my resources to put secret gnomes back there wasn't the smartest call, but, uh, was one of the funniest, so. Let's see, let me switch to you. And plant you. Yeah, we gotta restart. All right. <laughs> this time I won't have a secret gnome alcove. <laughs> Thank you, Katie, for the raid. Uh, I hope you had yourself a wonderful stream today. Sorry to hear that you're trapped in jail, and I'm also sorry to hear that it's a jail that you made. Uh, but, you know, we all make mistakes. I hope you get better soon. You got here just in time for gardening. We had to redo this level because I spent all of my resources making a secret house for gnomes back here instead of putting them in other places where they can help the flowers grow, but <laughs> that's okay. It happens to the best of us. This, too, is a prison of my own making, if you think about it. Let's get our little... Uh, whoop, I unplanted that completely, so let's get that back out there. You just don't hear about it. There we go. Now, let's get uh, our gnomes out here. love a peaceful gardening after trapping yourself in orb jail and getting crushed so many times. <laughs> yeah, that's just kind of how it goes with Sonic the Hog, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, we've got our gnomes here. Oh. Gnome squad rolling out. Good, good, very good. Um, of course our friend Mr. Bear has to be there, but you need a chair for that. There we go. Whoops. Mr. Bear's taking a bit of a tumble, but that's okay. Probably. That's probably okay. <laughs> Ooh, I like the way it's crept all the way up this this light post, though. It's all right. Mr. Bear's just having a rest, uh, making sure the soil quality here is okay. He's uh, maybe had a little much to drink. You know, that's why he's got his gnome friends to look out after him. Always drink responsibly. Always make sure you got a buddy who's out there looking out for you when you go out a drinking. That's what Mr. Bear's got. Let's get uh, this here. And how about one uh, on top here? Prop up some, some car seats for them to work on. Ooh, now we got the fruits here to grab. sign for gnomes at work. First, let's get the uh, Monstera out here. Put on the back of this car. 
you have maximized the yield on this. They're having so much fun. This game looks confusing. Why? What's confusing about it? You just you take your seeds, you plant them, you put objects near them to help them grow. It's pretty straightforward. Let's see. How about a tire over here? Let's see if that'll hold. A little bit of sliding is okay, I suppose. Let's. How about we plant something up here? One of these. Get that over here. Chair. We'll get a bit of growth back here as well. Do one of these because it is cheaper. Put that over here. I do not fit. There we go. And a bottle. And another chair. Just now falling. Let's see, let's see. Uh, that'll hold. There we go. this time. But, uh, I do want to grow a little more. There we go. Welcome to the junkyard. Gnomes at work. Could this be a new seed? What have we got? It's a cactus! Nice! Let's see how you grow. Ooh. Oh, that's very pretty. Looks like cactus only takes two. Interesting. It's time to teach gnomes how to grow succulents. Right here in this X. Oh, that's cute. It plays that little that little guitar riff when you plant it. I like that. to start. I'm gonna grow the both of these. I've got a couple of pallets to load up in the back. Let's see if that'll get better. Yes, it will. Ooh, we got this shining. Shining down. Oh, the cat is growing here. Pile it out. Pile some boxes up in the back. We should get something else planted. Uh, how about you? front of this truck and then our car. Yeah, 
transplant. You. Uh, how about some of these here to help reinforce the, the crates, keep them from flying out on us? Totally gonna fall, so let's get you uh, leaned over this ways then. That's okay. We got plenty we can plant now, though. Let's get some more uh, over out here ways. Looks like it says keep out. Uh, but I suppose it's a little late for that. Uh, that sign won't stop me because plants can't read. Brewskis. That kind of looks like keep out if you if you squint a little. Look at it a little funny. But you can't keep out nature. little cabbage growing here. It's time to enjoy a cabbage. There's a table. <gasps> Hang on. Hang the fuck on. Hold the phone. Ah, damn it. Uh, let's restart this. Me down here. There we go. Oh, baby, it's time. <laughs> I 
I love the grunts they make when you put them down. <laughs> you know it. You love it. That's right. Uh, as soon as it respawns. <laughs> Gnome's watching TV. Watching their favorite show, Plants. <laughs> of course, they need a couple of drinks. Even this guy's got one. He's, you know, not part of the main. A bird has come to watch! <laughs> Two birds have come to watch! Birds are a little bit afraid of drinking, and that's okay. Even the TV gets one. Well, let's give you back a drink, since yours fell down. Uh, he's trying to reach the boom box, but it's all the way over there. Ah! And it's fallen over. CRT <laughs> drop. Thank you, Star. For the $25. This CRT, I mean, I guess it did technically already drop, didn't it? Uh, so, <laughs> I was gonna say, this one is perfectly safe and the gnomes have it secured, but, uh, it, it already totally did take a tumble, didn't it? So, <laughs> <sighs> thank you for the tip. Let's see. We've unlocked gnome, finally. What have we got here? We've got planters. Let's get that in there. We've got this. Let's get that down here. This is... Oh! This is a... Uh, uh, what's it called? The swing I go around. I forget what these are called. I didn't get anything. Let's, let's restart. There we go. <gasps> Y'all, rubber duckus, rubber duckus is here. Tinosaur is also here. Uh, Mr. Bear is here. Uh, let's undo that. Get Mr. Bear more more comfy on here. There we go. I should plant some more. Let's see. Let's get another one of these out here. Our new friend, Tinosaur, is also here. What a banch. Uh, I it was a nice place to put a banch. Oh, just over here. is, you know, hanging out on the bench, making sure everyone's staying safe and having a good time. Actually, no. Gnome. Uh, I'm Cactus first. Let's put uh, one just over here. Uh, 
because we got a Dieter daughter. And a uh, gnome, of course. Playing on. What is, th what is this achievement I just got? Hang on. Getting the band back together. Use all of the toys in one level. Oh! Cute! <laughs> Come on, man. You gotta work on your balance here. Why don't we try Mr. Bear first? Okay, and then you. Well, it's not quite right, but you've got the spirit, and that's what matters. <laughs> I think I planted this one way too low to really get anything out of it. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, this is a shoe. This is a slide. Let's get a slide ready. First, let's punch uh, the practice. <laughs> and Mr. Bear is going for a big day on the slide. Whee! So much fun. Mrs. Shoe is also going down the slide to have a lot of fun. She's not quite sure how to do it, but she's got the spirit. And that's what really matters. I defer. I suppose it's not actually a fern, but it does. I keep saying it's one because it looks kind of like one. Box out here. I put two down by accident. Uh, backpack over here. Uh, dinosaurs looking out, a little nervous. They want to be part of the fun too, but they're uh, a little bit scared. And their friend, the bear over here, is like, oh, don't worry about it. Everyone here is really nice. We'll make a lot of friends. Uh, this one's just standing on the bench and has fallen down. So never mind, they are no longer standing on the bench. <laughs> uh, and this gnome is like, hello, I'm a gnome. It's nice to meet you. Brought my backpack full of anything. But you can have it all. Everyone loves to drink a soda at the park. It's that famous thing you always do at the park. Let's see what else we can do here. There we go. Uh, with that, we should grow something that spreads a little more, but I do need one more bit of, uh, the fruit to do that. So let's make a soda ritual around this cactus here. There we go, that'll do. Let's put uh, one of you's out here somewhere. Just over here. Stand on the slide and fall down, because that's kind of funny to me. Or you can go here. There you go, perfectly st stood up, in kind of a scary way. There we go. Looks like that's not enough. But we can plant a bit more. Maybe that'll help. Might have to restart. I think I did kind of bungle it at, right at the start by not planting this bit a little higher up. Uh, or at least in a different place. Uh, I'm gonna 
was put a little on. That's not going to take us up over the limit, but uh, it'll look nice. Plant a cactus. How about here? And then we can place our first. There we go. Already right away, this is giving us fruit, which is uh, much better than our previous start. Now, let's get bench back over here, because I like to have it here. It's a pretty place to have it. A uh, couple of cinder blocks over here. While we're at it, let's plant uh, some of this creeping vine uh, on this wall. over <laughs> a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Let's put this just a I'll grow a bunch of stuff. bunch of these fruit, uh, but you need to get, like, a bunch of them to, uh, to, 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 to get, like, a, a payout for your other seeds. Hmm. Should I plant anything else right now? Just keep on going with what I've got at the moment. Let's put a shoe on this bench. Actually, no. Let's. Uh... Oh yeah, don't don't post links in chat, please. That's a that's a no no. No, you don't get to, like, 
you don't get to get timed out by the bot and then just go, oh, I'm gonna post that again, but with, like, spaces so that it's not a link. That's not how that works. Come on. Some more of this spreading around. Okay, what else should I plant? What about something over here? Something that spreads well. Like, yeah, I know the specific thing they were linking to. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a shirt that's like, Smile For Me merch, and Smile For Me is cool, the people who make that game is cool, but like, I feel really weird about people just coming in and being like, Hey, here's this thing I got, you can buy it here. It's like, I don't know, don't, don't you think that's a little weird? Especially if it's not at all relevant to the stream. Uh. And like, I know, you know, the nature of today's stream is just kind of we're hanging out and looking at cool plants and all, but like... I don't know. Rules is there for a reason. The nature of stream, yeah. I didn't quite mean it like that, but that is pretty funny, isn't it? <laughs> okay, this is where a lunchbox sits. Uh, and... There we go. I'm gonna some, some good growth on a couple of things. These don't have terribly big range. Soda cans do, though, for some reason. Uh, I can plant another cactus. Also, we don't need, like, 30 people constantly talking about this. Like, we can move on, y'all. It's... It's a thing that keeps happening here whenever, like, I say, hey, don't do that. Like, 200 people chime up and they're like, oh, I need to get my, my two cents in. It's like, no, we can just move on. Like, we don't need 3,000 people here putting someone on blast. That's my job. I'm the one doing it because it's my stream and my comfort. You don't gotta do it, it's fine. We're gonna talk about cacti now. I think we have enough to, like, actually complete it this time. Aren't cacti edible? Some of them are. Uh, some, you know, more so than others because they've got, like, more... More, I'm trying to think of the word to use here, but like they're more, more easily human edible, I suppose. Um, I think that's the right words for what I'm trying to describe. Ah, shit. That's bad. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. Uh, I have made a terrible mistake, but it's okay. Because we're back to like a hundred, I guess? Isn't the cactus water survival tip not real since the cactus water is toxic? I have no idea. Uh, I have never drank from a cactus before. I have never lived in a place where I've had the need to. Um, 
and uh, I would suggest you get, you know, life and survival advice from something that isn't Twitch.tv, <laughs> quite frankly. Because every time a question has been asked here, I've literally seen four different people chime in with four different answers. Uh, so, you know, do your research. <laughs> there's also, yeah, there's not one specific type of cactus. There, there, there are many very different plants under, like, the umbrella of cactus. Uh, you should eat every plant you see, no matter what. Uh, and if something bad happens, it happens. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm not legally liable if you do that. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. It's like uh, Morton Koopa Jr. said, you can drink lava, but only once. I don't know if Morton Koopa Jr. ever actually said that in a Mario thing. I just know Brady likes to say that as a, as a Morton quote. The bike is dead. And I will miss it. Uh, let's put Standy Bear back on the, the bench. There we go. Uh, and here's a gnome having fun. <laughs> okay. I don't technically need to put the bike down anymore because I already got the points from it, but also, where do I put this fucking bike? Here. There we go. Uh, the bike's reign of chaos is at long last at an end. Uh, we're all safe now. Uh, except for this poor uh, Tynosaur, who's waiting so patiently to get on the, the, the swingy go round, because there's another space for him. But the others just won't stop swinging. Look, they've even brought soda on here. How irresponsible. It's gonna get all shooken up and it's gonna sprays everywhere. But look, he's brought his own. And so they really should stop and let him on. Some mushrooms are delicious and some mushrooms are delicious and will kill you. Uh-huh. <laughs> God, it reminds me of this one comic, uh... I saw a while ago about like someone trying to identify a mushroom talking to someone who like knows more about it uh, and just like showed them a picture and they were like oh this is chicken of the woods uh, it's apparently like toxic to like some people but not everyone the people who are able to eat it just fine say it's delicious uh, and then like the the character that's meant to be like the author in that comic is just looking at this person and is just like man I really hope this is how I am in the future or something like that. I only half remember it, but it's good. It's cute. <laughs> We've unlocked a dinosaur. Sideways fridge? <laughs> Must be. Pile you on top of here, why don't we? Let's put you over in the corner hereabouts. <laughs> Dang. There we go. Oh, still not quite. Okay, okay. So that's how you want to play it, huh? Yeah, just that guy. This game is really neat. Uh... It's, it's one that I've sort of been following uh, the development of for a little bit. I was, like, watching uh, this game get made while it was still in early access. Um, 
And now that it's uh, been out for a bit, I was like, you know, why don't I actually like play it and stream it? I think that'd be a fun time. Uh, and I'm glad folks are enjoying. It's a, uh, it's a neat little, uh, very easygoing, freeform type of puzzle game, which is fun. Uh, it's a nice chill time. We've got this like succulent garden here and this like weird spire of old dead appliances. Something about that is kind of cool. IMO. Another one. It, it reminds me of like, um, rock gardens where people have like a lot of like gravel and rock uh you know art and structures uh, alongside like a bunch of succulents and the like it like reminds me of that but with these like weird like steel spires and tires just strewn about like there's been a lot of really cool levels so far but something about this one specifically for some reason is just like I don't know I really like it It's a bit of an odd one to have such a strong reaction and attachment to, but uh, I don't know. I suppose I've always been a bit of an odd one. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> like if the Keyblade Graveyard was made of fridges. The Keyblade Graveyard is one of the few things I like know and have seen about uh, Kingdom Hearts, and yeah, that is also uh, fairly visually distinct and striking, isn't it? What if I were to grow a cactus out of this tire? Into the sky. Somehow, like, branching through, uh, this, this fridge. <laughs> there we go. We're making our, our little cairn here. So that someday, somewhere, somehow, people will know we were here. Awesome, hang on a second. Uh, I need to pause real quick. And just... Sorry, just a second. There we go. Welcome to the spine of the world. What plant is this one again? I don't remember. Is this gonna reach? No, it's not. Okay, we gotta restart. What if... Okay, that's, that's not gonna do what I thought. What if... restart then. Now you need to go listen to that transistor song? What what transistor song? Did I say something that's like a song from that game? I've heard a couple of the songs from Transistor. I don't remember anything about them other than thinking they were cool. Spine of the world, is that? Oh shit, no, you're totally right. That is, that is absolutely from Transistor, isn't it? Wild. 
I accidentally made a reference to that and didn't realize it. <laughs> We can like put this on the side. I see. Ah. Let's get a satellite up here. Oh man. Oh man. Ooh. <laughs> I see. I see. also uh, a really fucking cool level to me. But I'm a sucker for spires and monoliths and obelisks and stuff. It's a good type of shape. stay up, then I don't want it to keep that progress, but... <laughs> yeah. So we'll just load this. Steppy stool. <laughs> Toolbox, what for maintenance? <laughs> uh, our good friend the gnome! <laughs> who's here to make sure the phones are still- Nope, you're falling down, bud. And our good friend the gnome, who's uh -huh. here to check on the phone lines. Yeah, I feel that, Hannah. I simply see a tower and I lose, uh, my mind in a good way. We got the deluxe here. Three whole phones. What a bonus. Yeah, I do like every time you put a gnome down in this game, they just go like, ha, hoo, oh, oh. This is great sounds to hear from a gnome. sort of, uh, like, radio broadcast emitters slash receivers. Not quite sure, but I am sure they look fucking awesome. And isn't that what matters at the end of the day? We just make something beautiful.
Can I play Let's Tap for the Nintendo Wii? No, I'm sorry, I don't have that game anymore. Uh, I sold it to buy this one. And they laughed at me when I did. They laughed at me, they said I would regret it. I haven't yet, so who's laughing now? Put one on the deck. Antenna. Thank you, Steph Wolf, for that 20 month resub. Very much appreciated. Hope you've been doing well. Uh, the point where, like, a lot of folks that have been, you know, uh, checking out the streams for a while now, um, are getting into, like, the 20-plus sub numbers, and that's just kind of like, Jesus. It's been that long, huh? Time surely flies. Sub badge yet, my goodness. That is two tens! Lex Luthor taught me all about that, and now I can't stand it. I keep forgetting to set up an alert for that, uh, but thank you very much, Vidiot, uh, for electing to continue that gift sub that you got from Mir and Mary. And so. Very much appreciated. almost two years old. Yeah, that's kind of scary to think about. <laughs> it's a bit scary to think about. Uh... <laughs> also, thank you very much, Pyra, uh, for those five gift subs. That's very generous of you. Sometimes, uh, I have the worry, uh, that, like, you know, folks have only really stuck around for whatever reason or what have you, uh, because, uh, they, they, they like HLVR specifically, uh, and so I'm almost like, well, that's not really what I do here for my own stuff specifically, uh, so, like, what if, you know, they, like, decide to, like, stop tuning in or, like, stop supporting or anything like that, but, like, I mean, god damn, I've almost been doing this for two years now, and I still got folks, you know, coming on by, uh, enjoying the show, so, <laughs> must be doing something right. <laughs> are wonderful and so much more powerful with each passing year. Well, that's very kind of you to say, Nightmare Judge. Thank you. Let's get a little bit of this out here. Why don't we? Let's get uh, some of these pretty creeping bits. Find it here. Let's keep 
build it down. Man, though, uh, I am uh, very much looking forward uh, to the day that, uh, you know, uh, the, the me and the rest of the team get together to, to put together uh, as of yet unnamed next big project. Uh, I won't talk about it non-specifics-wise. If you're expecting me to, like, give you a teaser or whatever, uh, don't. Uh, other than, you know, me going, smile, uh, looking at the camera, etc, etc, but like, uh, I'm looking forward to that. Hollow underscore tones, I am a huge fan of your voice acting work and wanted to come on here to say hi. I do have one request. Could you please play the full album Hawaii Part 2 on stream? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I appreciate the gumption. doing this for a bet. Well, uh, have fun losing that bet, I suppose. <laughs> Hi, hello, underscore tones. I have one request. Could you please say the Wu-Tang secret on stream? Uh, yeah, sure. But you have to promise not to tell anyone, okay? You have to promise not to tell anyone. Okay, uh... Setting. Um, sound. Okay, so the Wu Tang secret is. grape soda though if you kill if you keep telling anyone it's grape soda you're probably gonna get a lawsuit and uh yeah that's about it box it looks like the hexagons let's get our power line out here our tool box And, uh, and a paint. I reckon that's good. I reckon that's a nice little broadcast tower. Maybe a little bit slapdash, but that's okay. Oh, 
Hawaii Part 2 is a Tally Hall side project album. There is no Hawaii Part 1. Interesting. I don't really like Tally Hall very much. I've heard a couple of their songs and it's just, it's not for me. Funniest thing is when you make an HLVR reference on Prompted and there are viewers in chat who have never seen it going WTF are you talking about? Yeah! <laughs> I do really like, um... <laughs> Every now and then I'd make a joke about something, what I have been a part of, uh, project-wise. Uh, and then inevitably there are those people that are just like, What do you mean? What is that? What is that from? And, like, some of them are doing it as a joke, and then some of them are actually completely serious about it, and I'm just kind of like, Wait, you mean you're actually just here because you like my streams, not because you found me through anything else I've done? Oh! <laughs> It, is, it was very funny um, seeing a couple people on uh, the, the, the Sonic Destruction uh, videos uh, being like, oh, uh, damn, I can't believe Holly is like in uh, all of these Snapcube videos. Uh, that's wild. It's almost like she's a member of the Clown House now or something. And it's just kind of like... They don't even know. <laughs> Shadow the Hog is gonna come out and they're gonna be so surprised. Sincerely, though, you watched Mike's POV of HLVR AI videos the other day, and you heard me go, My penis weenus is Tingle Wingles, verbatim in character, and you perished. Uh, sorry to hear that. I hope you respawn soon? specifically got cut from uh, the the final like this is this is just a fucking tub this is just like a whole ass tub <laughs> I think that specifically got cut from like the final cut of HLVR uh, because Wayne I think Wayne specifically said that he fucking hates why my penis weenus of course <laughs> Which is extremely fucking funny. <laughs> Hearing the Coomer voice or the Gmod voice codec is crazy. Yeah, uh, sometimes I'll like listen to a clip that was just like, oh yeah, this is just like from recording. Um, and it's wild how like different it sounds from the final product. Sometimes, like, nowadays, I'll just try and do the voice and I'll be like, man, this really does sound different. I've talked about this a couple times. Uh, I have this worry, and it's like, you know, probably entirely just, like, um, paranoia rather than anything, but, uh, I have this worry that, like, you know, because I've been doing, uh, voice training for the past, like, year or two, just so I can be, like, in a point where I'm, like, much happier with the way my voice sounds, and, like, I am. I'm very happy about that. Uh, the downside is that I- my natural register is no longer the natural, like, vocal register I was doing, uh, to do the fucking Dr. Coomer voice, uh. And so now every time I do it, uh, like when I'm just like, oh, it's time to make a funny joke about the- 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 the, the video and the things what I said in it or whatever. And, like, every time I do that, I'm just kind of like, wow, holy fuck, that sounds completely different, doesn't it? And, uh, I know, that, like, someone somewhere out there, uh, is going to, like, have some reaction that's gonna be like, uh... Oh, the voice is different now, you're all, you're all, you're all washed up, you're phoning it in, or whatever, and, like... A 
obviously they're just completely fucking ignorant to say something like that to the point where it's funny uh, that they're like so fucking mad about a video on the internet where the Half-Life 1 scientist says fuck <laughs> but doesn't say it in the voice that they wanted uh, that's really funny uh, but also you know the worry is still there in the back of my mind I suppose Cactus. Mm. And I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, in the name of my happiness, I think, uh, the, the, the Dr. Cruller voice, Dr. Cruller, Dr. Coomer voice being, uh, a little different is, you know, a perfectly acceptable casualty in the name of me, you know, being happy with myself. Uh, or it is something, it is still something I feel a little bad about. Look over there, Rasputin. They got ropes. I heard you can use those to cross all kinds of psychic mind pits. Beautiful, beautiful cactus candles. What do plants wear to formal events? A CAC tie. I think they wear a three-piece suit! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lunar Soul, for that form on 3-sub. Every time someone tries to set up like an obvious pun like that, my reaction is always to just say something completely irrelevant. Uh, it's like there's... Uh, this one post I remember from, I want to say it was from Tumblr, where someone was just like, uh, what is Shrek's favorite month? Uh, and then someone responds, he seems like a January man! Uh, and then the OP just responds, October. Uh, and then the second person responds again, he seems like a January man! <laughs> and I think about that a lot. <laughs> Stop watching the stream, but you need to know why everyone is losing their minds about Cruller is saying caves and ropes. Uh, you could go on google.com right now and you could search for Half-Life VR but AI is self-aware, uh, and you could learn all about uh, a funny little series of some guys in a video game who say words like fucking fart. This is a house! We just made a house for someone. Awesome. Something about that makes me really happy. There's a little place for someone to live. There's 
more. John outhouse type of situation. Assuming this bit is the front here. Let's see what else we've got. Satellite? I kind of wanted to get one on the side of the... <laughs> the side of the Portageon! <laughs> I want whoever is in there to have the happiest air-conditioned shit of their life. But it clearly was not meant to be. Thank you, Clued the Destroy, for that raid. Hope you had yourself a wonderful stream today. Doing some gardening. We can get a satellite on top of the on top of the shitter, though. It's gonna fall, but <laughs> we can do it. Let's get another up here. Denim Snake for that 20 month resale. Appreciate that. Holly Jones Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Don't know if this sounds weird, but you really like my voice. You think I sound powerful and hope your voice can speak like that someday. I don't think that's weird at all. That's very nice of you to say. Thank you. taken me, you know, a fair bit of time to be, uh, really happy with my voice, but, uh, you know, I got there eventually, so I reckon anyone can. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I want big time grilling uh, away from the shitter, if at all possible. So let's get our tank of propanus uh, right here on top of the grill where it's so safe. It's so safe to be here. I kind of want to keep going with this one for a bit. I kind of want to keep decorating here. It's nice. Yeah, uh, you know, some chairs around here. <laughs> Oh, this is way too goddamn big to go on the table. 
let's just put it down here. Not by the outside of the house. We got our brewskis out on the table. For anyone who wants to stop on by, drinks are always on us. Uh, and one by the can, just in case you got a really bad shit. And look! Our guests have arrived. Okay, you get back here. Do, do, do not escape confinement. And you... You're on grill duty, okay? Oh. It's not quite what I had in mind, but I appreciate the spirit. Keep our bike to the side over here. cinder block or two to help keep it in place. Maybe not in front of the the shitter, though. Kind of need that accessible. This gnome just wants to grill, for God's sake! A little pile of cinder blocks. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy with this. like a boss to me. Ooh, look at the way that spreads. That's pretty. I really like moss. I think moss is beautiful. And I smile and clap my hands every time I see it. bit of the box just clump. <laughs> Ooh. This is a small little scene to play with here. Let's see what we got. This is fucking huge. Okay. All right. We've got the gar the garbage. No longer need the tub. So that's going on in. It's almost time to grow some more moss. Chuck that in as well. It is now time to grow some more moss. Put in the television. Another shattered TV. We don't need it no more. Uh, yet another tub. Man, people just hate the tub uh, after the incident. It's truly so sad, but I guess it had to happen. The tub is no longer your friend and you can get sucked down the drain. So look out. This is the bad future where the Rugrats will lie to you. And that's why uh, the world has gone to shit. We will need to learn to rebuild without them.
Let's just put this on the side of here. Oh, well, down it goes. <laughs> Let's just put this on the side here, but actually. Oh, nope, there it goes. Let's just put this on the side here. Fucking there we go, thank you. <laughs> yeah, this game has like some really, really good sound design. Uh which I think really uh, helps to sell the experience, honestly. What if... there was a single cactus? Uh, never mind, not there. What if... there was a single cactus? There we go. And that'll do it. <laughs> ah. Now we can go to junk to rooftops three, or we can keep going through the junkyard. There's a lot more to this game than I thought there was. My goodness. It is almost 10 o'clock. Uh, I think this might actually be a good place to start wrapping up. I, uh, I am starting to get a little bit sleepy, <laughs> so I've been trying to uh, fix my sleep schedule a little bit, as it were, and so my plan for tomorrow was I want to try and wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so I should probably not go to bed too, too late, uh, in order to facilitate that, I suppose. But hey, this is a cool little game. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I might, uh, try and squeeze in, um, some, some more streams of this game. Like, uh... Maybe on like nights where I don't actually plan on doing a full stream, but like after I wrap up like doing a uh, Final Fantasy raid with with my friends, I might maybe, you know, pop on do a quick hour or two of this that sort of thing. It seems like it'd be fun for a similar vibe to the old late late night puzzle delight streams I used to do. Did Peppa Pig throw a wrench in my sleep schedule? No, 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 no. That was m my sleep issues cropped up long before Peppa Pig. <laughs> Though I suppose it didn't help staying up as late as I did last night. But that's going to be planting for tonight. Uh, I definitely want to check out some more of this real soon, because, uh... Man, this game is beautiful. Man, this game is beautiful. I'm glad I got to share it with you all. Let's save our game. I guess it probably auto-saves here, then. <laughs> Fully missed the stream! Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. I know you're in a, a, a fairly different time zone, what, from a lot of the viewership, so, uh... You know, you can't, you can't blame yourself too much for that. That's just how it be in this world sometimes. But yeah. That's, uh... Best Cloud Gardens for the day. Probably more of this... soon. Uh... I don't rightly know when. Probably not next week, just because next week is GDQ. Uh... As I've said a couple times, uh... Actually, that that's just straight up start starts tomorrow, doesn't it? At like noon, Eastern. So, uh, hey, tomorrow, uh, around uh, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, EST, uh, I will be hosting Games Done Quick over on my channel. And it'll be a nice little place to come and hang out and watch some speedruns if, if the other previous times I've done this will be any indication. And so I'm looking forward to that.
And so because of that, uh, probably won't be doing any, like, big, long, proper streams uh, during the week. I might do, like, you know, something real quick every now and then if I really want to. If there's, like, if I'm not super, super interested in what's going on uh, GDQ-wise. But, uh, you know, that's the plan, is to host it and give folks a little place to hang out and talk about yonder speedruns. Let's go see if we got any fan art for tonight. Uh, we do. Huh. Let's uh, flip on over to the view where we can show it off. Get some music on. This is way too, uh, no. There we go. That's a bit of a better vibe for <laughs> the kind of stream we had today. Belkana theme, I love you, but this is not the time for action music. <laughs> Making some of these past few hours, you're not done with it, though? That's all right. I still check out, like, my fan art channel and, like, Twitter and stuff, even, like, when I'm not streaming, so... We still post it in one of those, and I'll still give it a look. I'll be honest, I'm always surprised whenever, like, people are able to finish any amount of art during a stream, because art takes time to do. <laughs> Check out the Discord. We got this one here from Elk Turtle, uh, which I did see while I was starting up the stream and like getting ready for that, and I didn't say anything then, but my goodness, this is gorgeous. Oh man, I love this. I <laughs> I, I, I do notice the pig though. <laughs> I, I do see the pig though. <laughs> Oh, I do really like the colors on this, though. This is beautiful. Thank you. I always really like, uh... I don't know how to word this because I don't really... I've talked about this a couple times. I don't really so much have the, like, vocabulary when it comes to talking about uh, visual art stuff, but I always like how chunky the shapes uh, in your art feels. It's very pleasing to the eye. Thank you very much. This is the full page of my sketchbook if anyone wanted to also lose it looking at the two arts combined. <laughs> I, I feel like that's a pretty good... <laughs> that's a pretty good representation of, you know, the, the sort of uh, very clean split and dichotomy uh, between these two streams. The duality, I suppose. Uh, of last night's stream and tonight's. <laughs> Thank you very much. Got this one here from Benny Boy, who says, I woke up sick after the Peach stream. As one does. Uh, so I decided to take it a bit slow today. Got Holly's stream to make me feel better. The cat is Lola, if you can't tell. Oh, cute. <laughs> oh, this is very pretty. I do like... Uh, I like the way you've done, like, all the different plant shapes in this, and then the sort of, like, the the the, the very striking, like, two and three tone uh, shading on them. That's, that's really pretty. Also, I just realized this is like, uh, this is like one of them lineless styles, and I, I, this looks, looks really good. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. I love this. Another one of you from Benny Boy. Uh, no, I said I'd take it easy, but I saw the gnome in the water and I had to draw them. <laughs> What's better than this? Guys being dudes. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm glad this game has cute little gnomes that just have fun. <laughs> this is adorable, thank you. This one here from Wesley. Well, that sign can't stop me because plants can't read! <laughs> I forgot I said that! <laughs> awesome. Thank you. This one here, uh, from Selly. It says it's a BB habitat. 
I see the little BB in the leaves there. Very cute. This is where the birds go to nest and be comfy and have a good time. This is adorable. I just... I just noticed there's a lot of little BBs all around here. There's like the one in the plant here. There's these two here. There's this one here. That's adorable. That's adorable. Oh! A lot of little birds have fun in their enclosure. Thank you very much. I love this. Another one here from Wesley. <laughs> the crows love being chainsawed. It's healthy for them. <laughs> Listen, if they didn't like it, they wouldn't be here. But they're still here, so clearly I'm doing something right. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan of uh, the luscious locks on the on on the art here, and also big fan of the gnomes hanging out. <laughs> this rules. Thank you very much. Another one here from Elk Turtle. Oh! Oh! I don't remember the exact sounds the gnomes were making. <gasps> Lots of good sounds from gnomes tonight, though. <laughs> I love how just, like, fed up this dude looks. He's just like, I've had quite enough of getting tumbled all over the floor tonight. <laughs> very good shape of gnome. Thank you very much. We got this one here uh, from Finn Pee Pee Time, who says, I wouldn't say this is exactly done yet, but this is what I was working on. I was inspired by the cute plant game, so I wanted to imagine if Potato City was abandoned like everything else. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> okay, that's really good. <laughs> oh, I am deeply, deeply, deeply amused at just <laughs> my Peppa Pig friend's skull being there. <laughs> Good to know the hat and glasses are still okay, though. God, this rules. I, I I, love the sort of, like, really soft, painterly sort of, like, shading you have on this. Very, very pretty. Thank you very much. <sighs> it's good to know that even after the world is gone, Potato Land will live on. Let me just double-check really quick to see if there's any on... Twitter that we missed, uh, but it looks like, give me just a sec to, uh, I'll show off one thing that isn't really for tonight's stream, but, uh, was very good, so I want to show it off. This one here, uh, from Riv, Misclick, uh, who drew this very good picture of Peppa Pig's unnamed friend. Uh, and I thought it was very cute, and I, I shared it earlier today on Twitter, but I uh, wanted to show it off here, too, because it's adorable. Very, very, with a very good chicken as well. <laughs> so thank you very much uh, for this one. I, it, it is funny seeing all the people um, look at, like, the weird... Hang on, I guess I'll pull that up as well. Like, the weird fucking, like, lump of a Peppa Pig character that we made up, and they're just like, hmm, yeah, that's very good. But what if I made it look like the actual animal it's supposed to be, though? <laughs> I think it's always delightful when I see artists do that sort of thing. That'll be it for our fan art showcase, then. Thank y'all very much. For the art tonight. Love to see it. Always, always love to see it. Very pretty stuff tonight. Uh, but you know, I suppose it makes sense for a very pretty game. But it makes me very happy, all the same. Uh, I'd like to say I'm about to go to bed. Realistically, I'm probably going to stay up for a bit longer and like, uh, watch a video or fuck around in Warframe for a bit or something, but I'm gonna be wrapping up stream at the very least. Uh, and... Who can we raid? Who's live right now? Uh, 
let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Send folks on over to Socks. Uh, they are doing some, uh, some, some, something in Roblox, evidently. <laughs> I don't know enough about Roblox to rightly say what, but <laughs> chuck folks on over their way. Sounds like a fun time. Uh, I can't think of any sorts of, uh, raid message in particular. Uh, maybe we don't need one. Uh, maybe, maybe some kind of gnome grunge, like, oof, oog, that, like, something like that. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, use your favorite sort of, uh, grunt of, like, pain or exertion. Um, something like that. Does that sound for a raid message? Yeah, that'll do. So, uh, let's get that raid rolling then. Thank you all very much for tuning in tonight. Thank you for all the subs, all the tips, all the bits. Your support and generosity means a whole lot to me. Uh, so thank you all very much for that. Thank you uh, for all the new viewers we had today. Thank you for all the raids and hosts that we had. Thank you again for all the beautiful fan art. And thank you all very much for tuning in. Uh, I do really hope you enjoyed the stream tonight. It's always wonderful to have you here. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day to spend it here with us. Uh, if you're sticking around for the socks raid, hope you have a wonderful time at their stream. Uh, be good. Show them the same, you know, uh, care and respect that you've shown me tonight and all that. Don't be good. Don't be bad or I'll know. <laughs> uh, I will be hosting Games Done Quick tomorrow, and that's starting around noon Eastern. Uh, so if you're looking for a place to hang out and watch some speedruns, uh, you can come on over to my channel. Maybe I'll see you there. Or maybe I'll see you around some other time, but no matter what happens before we head out, I'd just like to say, have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure you're taking care of yourself and taking care of the folks around you. And I hope to see you again soon.